Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. Just a little plug side chat here, but I kind of wanted to do some level setting and expectations with the upcoming 2027 Chevrolet Bolt because I know people were a little bit disappointed with the 255 miles of GM estimated range. And this is important. I'll uh, follow up on this in a minute because I think I think that's maybe the, the key thing that people are missing. It's a GM estimated 255 miles of range, not an EPA estimated 255 miles of range. And something in the press release, the GM press release for the 2027 Chevrolet Bolt stuck out to me. And that is their use of a silicon carbide inverter, a new one. Now, we've seen a lot of articles about this. I think uh, Kia, when they put it in the EV6, had said something about like a 5% range increase for the EV6 as a result of moving to the silicon uh, carbide inverter. And we know that the inverter is more efficient, right? Uh, it's something like 99% efficient across a broader spectrum of power outputs and load uh, than the IGBT uh, inverters that are like 97 or 98%. And it seems like, oh, well, you're only talking about a 1% difference between the two. Uh, but when you really think about it, that's all of the power that feeds through there. So it's really what's the difference between 97% efficient for or nine, maybe 98% efficient for some of the power band versus 99% efficient for a majority of the power band, right? So it, it very quickly uh, ramps up. And another article that I had read, um, they claim a 7% range increase. And so when you think about that, well, we, we do have a baseline for this bolt. The last known information, right, the 2023 Chevrolet Bolt EUV had a 247 mile range on a six, essentially a 64 kilowatt hour uh, battery pack. And if you increase that base range of the EUV to, you know, by 7%, you now have an EPA range of closer to 200 and 64 miles. So already basically nine, almost 10 miles more than the GM estimated range. But then we have to remember that this is a 65 kilowatt hour battery pack, not a 64 kilowatt hour battery pack. And if we estimate a full 65 kilowatt hours of usable energy, that actually would put the range closer to 268, um, almost 269 miles. So this is just based on the improvement in the inverter efficiency alone, we could see close to an EPA combined rated range for the 2027 Chevrolet Bolt of almost 270 miles. And that's just without anything else changing and it's not GM doing anything to fudge the numbers or inflate the numbers. This is something that I expect to translate over to the real world uh, just based on what we know about those silicon carbide inverters and the expected, like I said, roughly 7% range increase that would also result in, you know, an efficiency increase of, you know, about 0.2 miles per kilowatt hour. So instead of that standard 3.8 to 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour that we got accustomed to with the Bolt EV and EUV, I would expect that baseline efficiency to be closer to a 4.1 uh, mile per kilowatt hour baseline efficiency. And then of course it's, you know, this is something where the Bolt is all, always overachieved. And I did kind of want to share this story because this is within GM's range, <laughs> forgive the pun, to, to do, right? They have released conservative range estimates in the past 
with an understanding that the vehicle is going to exceed them even under you know more stringent EPA guidance or EPA testing. And so when I say that, I, I remember back to when I originally ordered my Chevrolet Bolt. And this was back in 2016. We still didn't have any EPA numbers whatsoever. And GM's official estimate for it was just over 200 miles of range. That's all they said. They didn't go into any details. And I still remember on the GM forums, uh, I think it was the Volt Owners Forum, I put a poll together where, you know, I listed the expected ranges, right? And I think the farthest or the longest range for the upcoming Bolt that we anticipated, I think I put it like 220 or 225 miles of EPA estimated range. And I, I selected that option, but a lot of people are saying, wow, you're just like way out there. There's no way it's gonna be 225 miles of range. Even GM only said it's an estimated 200 mile range EV. GM's gotten closer in their estimates over the years. They've gotten a little bit more in line and, and I think a little bit more comfortable in saying, hey, this is going to be a 300-mile range EV. This is going to be a 350-mile range EV. They've gotten much closer in their estimates, which 255 miles, right? That's a, that's a fairly exact, precise number. But they still have a tendency to be overly conservative. Um, and, you know, of course, with in 2016, when the EPA numbers were finally released and it was 238 miles of EPA estimated range, that basically blew everyone out of the water in terms of what their estimates were. Nobody anticipated that, right? We even had, I think, some GM Chevrolet engineers who had commented that all they were going to say is in their experience it was over 220 miles. Um but nobody, I think, expected the EPA range to be 238. And even after it came out, people expected it to underachieve relative to that EPA range. Well, you know, history is history. We all know where the Bolt EV went from there. It went to one of the consistently longest range EVs in independent testing for like another two or three years after it was released. So... Yeah, it, the, the Bolt EV always overperformed relative to the GM estimates. And like I said, that silicon carbide inverter really stood out to me because like I said, what we know about them is we can expect about a 7% range increase. And if everything else stays the same and it's a 65 kilowatt hour usable battery pack, we could be looking at close to a 265 to 270 mile EPA combined estimated range. Again, this is all just academic. This is just, oh, well, what does it matter what the EPA range is? I do agree on that to a certain, a certain extent because even my 238 you know, mile rated 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV, it would easily do... 280, 290, almost 300 miles in my regular commute in Southern California, right? We can joke about once you go south of the Tehachapi's, your, your EV range increases by 10%. And it's kind of a joke, but it's kind of not, right? Because of the weather and everything else. Um, and then, of course, the traffic and the driving speeds, you easily push 20, 30% higher than your typical EPA rated uh, range. But where this is really going to be important is we're already having this debate about the, the 2027 Chevrolet Bolt and how well it's going to travel relative to other EVs, but also relative to other GM Chevrolet EVs. And at 255 miles, charging 10% to 80% in 26 minutes, already puts it roughly on par, if not slightly better than the Chevrolet Equinox. If you enhance its range by 7% and you push it up to 200 and 
260, 265, almost 270 miles. And then, of course, adjust for that highway efficiency. Well, now, now you're looking at a car that is easily one of, again, one of the fastest traveling EVs in the, the GM EV lineup. And like I think I had mentioned in one of my newsletters, but also in one of my videos that I expect with a 65 kilowatt hour battery pack for the new Bolt to go at least about 215 miles at freeway speed driving. So somewhere between 70 and 80 miles an hour, you should expect to get at least about 215 miles of EPA range. Well, if you're bumping that up by 7% due to the silicon carbide inverter, now you're looking at closer to 230 miles of range. And a 10% to 80%, now all of a sudden you're adding closer to 160 miles of driving range in just 26 minutes. Um, that really does put it in the upper echelons of vehicles in terms of their ability to travel and travel quickly. And like I said, we'll see. I, I don't personally have any experience with the silicon carbide inverters. And like I said, I don't think that GM is necessarily sandbagging their range numbers. They just have a tendency to be overly conservative when they're making their GM estimated range. So I'm just putting this little flag in the ground right now. Do not be surprised if when the EPA numbers are finally published, we see a number that's north of 260 miles of EPA range rather than south of it. I mean, they could adjust it down. They could be more conservative, of course, in their final EPA testing numbers, but it's, it's well within the realm of possibility that we see close to that 270 mile combined EPA range and about 230 miles of reasonable high speed freeway, not 85, 90 miles an hour, but like I said, that 70 to 75 to 80 mile an hour freeway range, just say right around 75 miles an hour, uh, pretty reasonably seeing close to 230 miles of range on a full battery and about you know, 160 miles between 26 minute charging stops. So anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, what was your experience? Were you following uh, the Bolt EV range guesses back in uh, 2016 before the EPA numbers came out? Have you noticed, you know, GM's estimated range to uh, be more conservative? And do you own an EV that received a silicon carbide uh, inverter update, right? Like, a, like in particular, I know Kia had done that. Um, and if so, did you see going from an EV without a silicon carbide inverter to one with a silicon carbide inverter, did you see a noticeable, perceivable range increase? As always, uh, thank you for watching.